This is part of a beginner series C Sharp programming tutorial. I found a, a good website called Edibit that offers programming challenges and they check the results for you. And I thought it might be a good way to um, show how problems can be solved. Essentially, you got these tabs at the top here. The instructions tells you what you need to do. There's a code tab where you actually get into it. Um, the resources and solutions are more if you get stuck, we're not going to go there. And so yeah, this first challenge is extremely easy, but it's more about introducing the series of videos and going through the process. So you'll see that they ask us to simply uh, write a function that takes an integer value that represents minutes, and we need to convert it into seconds. I give a few examples down here of what you should see and yeah pretty simple so for this as you know there are 60 seconds in for each minute so you'll take the parameter that they pass into you which is called minutes and you can simply multiply that by 60 to get the answer now this is fine uh, in a real world scenario I try to avoid using these so-called magic numbers. It's not bad here, but when you get lots of them floating around, it can be confusing where each of them come from. So I'll drop uh, something like a constant in here. Seconds. Then I can use this. This has an additional advantage in that you could use this multiple times throughout a class and then you don't have to worry about having a typo. If, if you were typing out 60 every time, you could make a mistake in one of them and that would be quite annoying. Let's put some space in there to be neat. And then, yeah, essentially the same thing, but you have the, the number broken out. Uh, they have when you're ready, this check button, it'll run through their tests. If you want to see the tests that they run, you can click on that tab. I'll give you an idea. We'll go back to the console, check our answer. And we got the happy sound and green checks. Those are all good. Uh, the thing, you heard me call this a constant. It essentially is, but this read only gives you a chance as well to modify the value in the constructor of a class, whereas a constant, I believe, is just always the value you initially set it to. Um, I think that does it for this video. Again, very simple, but uh, just laying out where you can find this, and the problems will get harder as we go along. Thanks for watching.